Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to check out ebooks from the Battle High School Library. There are a couple of different things that you have to understand in order to check out the ebooks, so we're going to go over the process today. If you want to follow along with your iPad, this would be a great time to do it. First, you're going to need to have the Inlight K12 app. Hopefully you've already downloaded this app in your class. Um, it is a blue app and it has a little white uh, symbol in the middle of it. Um, another way to look for the app in case you don't know where it may have been put on your iPad, if you swipe to the left, you'll find your finder and then you can actually type in the first part of the name. So if you click on that, it's going to open up your InLight Reader app. Your username is the same username you use to log into the computer and your password is your student number. Once you've logged into the app, your dashboard will look something like this. Yours will look like this because you don't have anything checked out right now and we're going to go through what you need to do. The first thing that you need to do when you check out a book is go up in the upper left hand corner where you see the picture of the books. This is actually going to take you to um, our Destiny website and this is where you're going to find the books that you can check out on your iPad. So if you click on the picture of the books, this actually takes you into an internet browser. And one of the important things to understand about um, checking out books from our library is that you need the internet for a few things. You need the internet in order to browse for books, you need the internet in order to um, peruse the first couple chapters of a book, and you need the internet in order to download it onto your device. But once you have a book downloaded onto your device, you won't need the internet any longer. So you'll be able to read the book um, on your iPad even if you don't have access to a Wi-Fi network. Okay, so on your um, on your screen, you'll notice here that we have kind of like previews of a couple of different books. Over here in the middle, it shows how many titles we currently have available for checkout. We have 3,212. Um, you'll also notice that you can, um, you can filter these titles by what their covers look like. Um, you can also choose a view that just has a list. So if we click on that, that might look a little bit different for you. You can also um, filter by the most recent or um, by, um, you can do it alphabetically as well. So um, these are just a couple of things to notice when you get to this internet browser site. This is how you're going to begin searching for your book. Now, when you're going for a search on the on the left hand side here, you can narrow our books, our 3,212 books, by um, availability, okay, whether or not we have a copy available in our library, um, author, subject, genre, series, publication year, um, extent pages, and language. Now, another thing to understand about ebooks is that um, ebooks work just like print books work. Just because we have an ebook in our library doesn't mean that every single person can check out that book at the same time. Each book is only good for one checkout at a time. So, um, <clears throat> for instance, one of the first titles here is Gilgamesh, a verse narrative. You'll notice that we have 299 of 300 available. That means we bought 300 copies of Gilgamesh. Um, for students to be able to check out. And this was actually a lit set that was purchased by the language arts department. So um, if you continue to scroll down, you'll notice we have one of one available for Ashes, one of one available for Bitter End. Again, if you see the zero of one available, that means that somebody currently has it checked out. Another thing to notice that is if you find a book that currently says zero of one available, instead of checking it out, you can also place that title on hold. You'll use that green button over here to the right. Okay? All right, we're going to go back to the cover view because I think that it's a little bit easier to, um, to kind of peruse things, just in my opinion. Um, let's just say that I'm scrolling through these and I, there's a book that I find that I really want to read. Scrolling down. Oh, this one looks good here. If I click on it, 
well, before I click, um, you'll notice a couple of things about this about this book. First of all, you see the cover of the book, you see the title of the book, the author of the book, this little E means that it's an ebook, and the I on the right hand side at the bottom. If you click on that I on the right hand side at the bottom, that's actually going to bring you to a page that gives you a synopsis of the story. Okay, so again, you have the cover of the book, the title, author, but then in here in the middle, this is where you're actually going to figure out what this book is about. So let's say you've, re you've read the synopsis and it's something that you think you might be interested in, but you're not really sure. If you go over here to the open button underneath the cover, you can actually peruse the first few chapters of the book if you want to. Um, when you click on this button, if you click on open, it's actually going to open up the book in your web browser. You have not checked out this book at this time. This is just like picking up a book off the shelf and reading and flipping through the first couple of pages to see if it's something that you're interested in. And it tells you this when you go um, when you go to open it. It says you're reading it online. It is not checked out. Okay, so you actually haven't reserved this yet. Again, this is just to give you a little taste of what the book is about. So once you've decided on a book that you decide you really want to check out and you've read through the information about the book and you've read the first couple of pages, now it's time to actually check out the book onto your iPad. So you'll see here down on my, um, kind of on my, my home page of my internet browser that it says that I've recently read Room, a novel. So I can actually click on this or I can go find it in my list again. And if I go to overview, this is where I'm actually going to check out the book. Okay, so if I click on the green button over here on the right hand side, I'm going to check out Room, a novel. It tells me that um, the book is due on 928, and it says that it can be open from any online device. So that's great, although when I go home, I might not have internet access. So I have to figure out how I'm going to read this book after I get home. So what you need to do, because you're in the internet right now, you're actually going to go back to your app, the Inlight K-12 app, and you're going to open it. And it's still saying that I don't have any titles checked out because I haven't synced up my, my checkouts with what I did online. So if I go up here to synchronize, Once you've decided on a book that you're going to check out, you need to go back to the app and you'll notice that under the My Checkouts you have a book that says um, that is the book that you've decided to check out. Um, what you need to know now is that you can't read this book unless you're on a Wi-Fi network, which we talked a little bit about before. In order to read it wherever you're at, you're going to have to make sure that you go to this download button over on the right hand side of your screen. So if you click on download, probably going to ask you to log in again with your username and password which we already talked about um, before. You'll need to log in and then it will actually start downloading the book to your device. After you've downloaded the book onto your device you'll notice that your app is going to look a little bit different. On the right hand side instead of saying download it's going to say move online. The only reason you'll want to move your book back online is if you want to return it early. Click on the book. This is how you're actually going to read the book on your device. Um, right now I'm in landscape mode, so you'll notice that the book looks a little bit different. If I turn my iPad, physically turn it so it's in portrait mode, my book is going to look a little bit more like a book. But if this font size um, doesn't work for you, if you go in the bottom right hand corner here, you'll notice there's a little magnifying glass. You can click on that and you can either decide to view the text a little bit larger or smaller depending on your liking. The way that you're going to navigate through the book is down here at the bottom where there's a left and right arrow. You can click through the pages as you are reading. The other thing that you can do is you can actually swipe through. 
just as you swipe between your home screens on your iPad or um, if you're on the internet, you can swipe left and right to go forward or, and backward in the book. Another nice feature about um, the online ebooks is that you can highlight and add notes to the books that you're reading. If you take your finger and press and hold on the text that you're interested in highlighting, you'll kind of press and hold, click and drag, and then it's going to give you um, an opportunity to change the color of the highlighting um, that you've created. Another thing that you can do is you can actually create a note. Again, you can tap and hold. Or um, once you tap and hold, you'll get that little piece of paper with the plus sign. That's how you're going to create your note. And just for example's sake, that's what it's going to look like. You'll have to save in order for um, the note to save onto your device. And then once you're finished, um, if you don't like doing it that way, down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, there's a piece of paper with a pen. You can also click on that and that will also create the note. Um, if you noticed before when we were swiping through the story, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner here with a little dog-eared symbol, that just means that you've created a note on this page. And um, if you are reading the book, you can see how many of those you have per page. One of the great things about ebooks is that you don't ever have to worry about turning one in. Your book will automatically expire on the date that it tells you once you've checked it out. But sometimes if you've read through a book really quickly and you want to share it with a friend or make it available for other people to check out quickly, you can actually manually check in your book. The way that you're going to do this is if you're um, in your app and you go to your book bag, which I am at right now, It'll show you all of the books that you have checked out right now. Right now I have Room, a novel, checked out. And over here on the right, it says Move Online. In order to check your book back in manually, you actually have to move the book back on to the Internet so it knows that it's available for somebody else to check out. So I, if I click on Move Online, it's actually going to take the book off my iPad. This is the way to manually turn in your book, but you don't have to do this because it will automatically do this at any other time. The last step in the manually turning in your book um, process is to go back up here to the right hand side, um, go back up to the shelf, which is going to be um, the way that it gets us to the internet. And if we go to our book bag up here, when we're on the internet, it's going to show us all of our checkouts. Um, that we currently have. And again, it shows us that I have Room a Novel checked out and that it is due on September 28th, 2013. This little blue arrow tells me that I can actually manually check in the book myself because I've already finished reading it. So I'm going to click on that blue arrow and it's going to ask, are you sure you want to return this title early? I'm going to click yes and it's going to give me a confirmation that I've returned the book and I'm no longer going to be able to read it on my device. After you've already turned in a book or if your checkout has expired, you still have access to your notebook that's in the upper um, portion of your screen here. So if you click on notebook, and if you remember, I made a couple of notes in the book just to show you what these were going to look like. If I go over here to the plus on the right hand side, it's going to show me um, all of the notes that I made in this book, and it's going to show me the highlights that I'd made for the book as well. So these are still going to be available to me, even if I don't have the book with me right now.